The night your mind will leave your dreams. The doctor will see you now. But in the doctor's room, he's been waiting. So patiently. All right, Jacob. It was a long time coming, but just for you, here we go. <clears throat> so, you with your honey, and you're making out. When the phone rings, you answer it, and the voice says, What are you doing with my daughter? You tell your girl, and she say, My dad is dead. Then who was phone? All right, and then there's actually another version, so I'm gonna do that too because I'm here on the Creepy Pasta Wiki. I'll do that, and then I'll do um, the Day of All the Blood, um, but I'll choose another voice because uh, Variety is the spice of life, and he he always believed that you know the more voices I do, the better it would sound. So here we go. So basically, it's like this. You are at a friend's house for like the night or whatever. And then you guys are making out on the couch. Yeah! And then like, her dad calls you on the phone and says, No, I... She likes it more if you use the other hand. Yeah. And you are like, Oh, dude. Your dad was giving me advice on how to diddle you. And then she's like, I don't have a dad. Or whatever. But what? Who was phone? <laughs> Alright. Here we go with the day of all the blood. I'm going to choose a voice between uh, the time it takes for me to stop here and go to the next one. The day of all the blood. Read by Mickey Mouse. <laughs> this is the story of a day where there was all this blood. A man was walking around, and blood started coming out from everywhere. Isn't that right, Pluto? It is. There was so much blood that it filled up an elevator. He went to the store, and there was just blood all over the place. People were slipping in it. They were all grossed out. Ha <laughs> ha! He tried to go swimming, and all of the sharks went nuts and bited everybody. He got chased by all the vampires ever. One time, the blood cut a kid. And a dog! Isn't that right, Pluto? <laughs> At the end of the day, everyone decided they would send him to space so that he would stop getting blood everywhere. And the scariest part is that the man was you! <laughs> or a lady, if you're a lady. And you forgot that this happened. <laughs> Alright, I've got some other people for this tribute to Jacob. Um, i got some other voices to do this too, so here we go. Um, while I'm recording this, I don't know everybody who's going to be in it, so I'll just credit them in the description. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful night, and enjoy the rest of the voices. Do you know who I am, Mr. Worthy? I'm the Antichrist. You get me in a vanilla kind of mood. You will tell the angels in heaven that you had never seen pure evil so singularly personified as you did in the face of the man who killed you. The doctor is very happy with your patronage. Come see me and schedule your next appointment.